Yemen, the name alone conjures up images most would rather forget, conflict, poverty, headlines scream chaos, but to know Yemen only through such a lens is to miss the soul of a nation, past the veil of media portrayal lies a land of breathtaking beauty, towering mountains pierce the clouds, ancient cities untouched by time whisper stories of a rich and vibrant past, this is Yemen as I experienced it, a place where beauty and resilience intertwine, forget the headlines, here the desert sings a different song, it speaks of resilience, of warmth, of a history etched in stone and sky, it beckons you to look closer, to listen deeper, to understand, come with me and discover the hidden heart of Yemen. Yemen's beauty is a forceful presence, it's in the towering sun-baked mountains, their peaks lost in swirling mist, it's in the vast unforgiving deserts that somehow bloom with life. This land is a testament to nature's artistry. The silence is broken only by the wind, whistling through canyons and whispering ancient secrets. It's a sound that seeps into your soul, urging you to slow down, to breathe, to simply be. Look up, and you'll see a sky ablaze with stars, a celestial canopy unlike any other. The air, dry and crisp, carries the scent of spices and sand. It's intoxicating this raw, untamed beauty. Yemen forces you to confront the power of the natural world a power that both humbles and inspires. Sana'a. The name itself holds the weight of centuries. This is a city that breathes history, a place where time seems to stand still. Wandering through the labyrinthine streets of the old city is like stepping back in time. Towering buildings crafted from sun-baked mud rise up around you, their intricate gingerbread-like facades adorned with white gypsum seem to touch the sky, the air hums with the sound of life, the call to prayer echoing from ancient minarets, the chatter of merchants in bustling souks, the laughter of children playing in the dusty streets. Every corner you turn reveals a new marvel. Ancient mosques with soaring minarets, their intricate designs a testament to the skill of Yemeni craftsmen. Bustling markets overflowing with spices, textiles and silver. Hidden courtyards where fountains murmur and jasmine scents the air. This is a city that captivates the senses, a place where the past feels vibrantly alive. Imagine a city rising from the desert sands, a cluster of towering mud skyscrapers reaching for the sky. This is Shibam, the Manhattan of the desert, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that seems to defy both logic and gravity. Centuries ago, these mud-brick towers, some as high as 10 stories, were built to protect their inhabitants from rival tribes. Today, they stand as a testament to human ingenuity and a unique architectural heritage. Walking through Shabam's narrow streets, you feel dwarfed by the sheer scale of these structures. The sunlight casts long shadows, creating a play of light and shadow that shifts with every passing hour. It's easy to get lost in the maze of alleys and passageways, but that's part of the city's charm. Shabam is a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unexpected of places. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of Yemen and its people. Section 5, Socotra, an alien Eden. Off the coast of Yemen lies an island like no other, Socotra. Stepping onto this island is like setting foot on another planet. It's a place of otherworldly beauty, a living laboratory of evolution where time seems to have stood still. Strange and wonderful plants found nowhere else on earth dominate the landscape. The dragon's blood tree, with its umbrella-like canopy, bleeds red sap. Bottle trees with their swollen trunks store water for months. Desert roses bloom in a riot of pink and white. The coastline is just as dramatic, with white sand beaches lapped by turquoise waters. Giant granite mountains rise up from the interior, their peaks shrouded in mist. Dive beneath the surface and you'll discover a vibrant underwater world teeming with marine life. Socotra is a reminder of the incredible diversity of our planet. It's a place to lose yourself in the wonder of nature, to marvel at the strange and beautiful. Section 6. The Faces of Yemen. Forget the stereotypes, forget the headlines. To truly know Yemen you must meet its people. In their eyes you'll see a warmth and generosity that transcends language and culture. Theirs are faces etched with the wisdom of generations, faces that have witnessed both hardship and joy. They are the shopkeepers who greet you with a smile, the families sharing spiced tea on their doorsteps, the children with their infectious laughter. I've shared meals with families in humble homes, their generosity humbling. I've listened to stories told with a mix of humor and sadness, tales that speak of resilience and hope. 
These encounters, brief as they may be, are a reminder of our shared humanity. They are the heart and soul of Yemen, the reason why this land, despite its challenges, continues to captivate and inspire. Section 7, A Resilient Spirit Yemen has known hardship. Conflict has cast a long shadow over this land, but even in the face of adversity, the spirit of the Yemeni people remains unbroken. There's a quiet strength in their eyes, a determination to rebuild and move forward. You see it in the bustling markets, in the farmers tending their fields, in the children eager to learn. Life here is a testament to the power of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope flickers on. It's humbling, this resilience, this ability to find joy in the simplest of things. It's a lesson we can all learn from, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can endure. Section 8. The Dance of Hospitality Hospitality is not a mere custom in Yemen, it's an art form, a way of life. From the moment you arrive, you're embraced with open arms and a warmth that's both disarming and sincere. You'll be invited into homes, offered sweet tea and dates, and treated like long-lost family. Conversations flow easily, accompanied by laughter and gestures of genuine warmth. There's a rhythm to these interactions, a dance of hospitality that's both humbling and heartwarming. It's a reminder that even in a world often driven by self-interest, kindness and generosity still have the power to connect us. This is the true beauty of Yemen, the one that stays with you long after you've left its shores. The kindness of strangers, the generosity of spirit, the simple joy of human connection. Section 9. Finding Mindfulness in the Ancient Sands Yemen forces you to slow down. The desert demands it. The ancient rhythms of life here, the call to prayer, the slow pace of daily interactions, the absence of our modern distractions, invite you to be present. There's a stillness to the desert, a silence so profound that it allows you to hear your own thoughts. It's in this stillness that you find a different kind of connection, a connection to yourself, to the natural world, to something far greater than yourself. This is the essence of mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in the moment. And in Yemen, it's not something you have to strive for, it's simply a part of life. It's a lesson we can all benefit from. This ability to slow down, to breathe, to appreciate the simple beauty of the present moment. Section 10. Yemen's Whisper to the World Yemen, for all its challenges, holds a powerful message for the world. It's a message of resilience, of hope, of the enduring strength of the human spirit. It's a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unexpected of places, that kindness and generosity are universal languages, and that even in the face of adversity, hope flickers on. This ancient land, steeped in history and tradition, whispers to us of simpler times, of a way of life that values connection, hospitality, and the simple joy of being alive. It's a message we desperately need to hear in our increasingly chaotic world. Section 11. Journey inward, explore outward. We travel to explore, to discover, to experience the world in all its messy, complicated glory. But the most profound journeys are often those that take us inward. Yemen, for me, was one such journey. It challenged my preconceptions, opened my heart, and reminded me of the power of human connection. It taught me the importance of slowing down, of being present, of finding beauty in unexpected places. The world is full of Yemens, places that challenge our assumptions, that force us to confront our own biases, that remind us of our shared humanity. These are the journeys that stay with us, that change us, that make us better, more compassionate human beings. So go, explore, but do so with an open heart and an open mind. Listen to the stories whispered on the wind, find the beauty in the unexpected, and above all, remember that the greatest journey you'll ever take is the one that leads you back to yourself.